Hi guys, welcome to a Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. What a week man, what a week. Last week, three frosts. This week, the warmest three days and the stillest three days of the year. 27 Celsius at work. But I've been smashing the overtime this week, it's Saturday, and I've actually been working today 16 and a half hours overtime this week. But the weather is too good to miss out on camping. It's currently five past five in the evening and I'm right at the very bottom of tonight's destination, which is Little Melfell. One I've been saving for such an occasion as this because it's not a very long walk at all. You can see my car just parked there. We've got Hallin Fell in the distance, looking very hazy past that. Lovely little woodland here. And we've got a glimpse of Ulls Water as well. So it's most definitely time to get up that mountain. Once again, this one might be a short one, but it's a steep one. I'm already breathing quite heavy. I'm still struggling with my endurance and recovery, with my hormone levels being all messed up, but it's not going to stop me. Not going to stop me. Hull's water a bit more clear in view now. Still looking very hazy in the distance. Yeah, short and steep, man. Woo. And when I say this one's a small one, I really do mean it. I've been going a smidgen over 10 minutes now. And we're almost at the summit cairn. So we can officially say, Little Mel fell. Done and bosh, mate, done and bosh. Wow, beautiful up here. 360 views, albeit a little bit hazy. Look at this, man. What a perfect evening for it. Just the middle section towards the tail end of Ulls Water in view. Absolutely gorgeous. Now the disadvantages of days like this is that I don't get the opportunity to get up here early, put my bag down, get my chair out and sit and chill for a few hours before setting my tent up. However, the advantage of this is I am now going to go and look for the pitch. Once I've found it, the tent's going straight up. I reckon We've got maybe an hour and a half before we start to lose the light. And that's early enough for me. I've not seen anyone up here or on the way down or up while I was ascending. So that's good enough for me. So I'm gonna go and have a look for a pitch. Well, I'm all set up. I did have a good look around to try and find a pitch. A bit away from the summit, but there just wasn't any. So I'm pitched up more or less right by the summit, which isn't ideal. I still haven't seen anyone, so I think we'll be all right. Summit is just there. And I'm out in the Northern Light 2 by Terra Nova. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, this is still my favorite tent, but it's time for a change. So this is up for sale. You've seen me use this many a time now. And in my honest opinion, it's the best all round tent that's on the market. Relatively light at 2.2 kilos, plenty of room inside. I mean, plenty of room. And you've got two massive vestibules as well. The vestibules are opposite. So whichever way you pitch it, you've got a wind free vestibule. Absolutely cracking tent. So if you do fancy this tent, I'll put a link in the description to the Facebook marketplace sale if it's still available it might have gone i've had quite a few people message me about it a cracking tent at the moment the sun is hiding behind a really long skinny cloud i could do with that going away but it's still beautiful man cracking views honestly a little bit hazy still inside the vestibule we've got some heineken zeros seven weeks without a drink now obviously with the the hormone problems that I've got at the minute 
like I say, I'm just trying to give my body chance to rest and recover as best as it can. Me jet boil and me gas. Tactical duck could do with a coffee. Oh, if you know, you know. Real term at pasta bolognese for tea tonight. And I'm on the Wayfarer all day breakfast. Unfortunately, with working today, I just didn't have time to make my own Yeti Lifesaver breakfast. And I had that left over from Hadrian's Wall. Inside, I'm using the OEX Leviathan EV900. Like I say, we have had a few frosts recently, and although we've got good weather at the minute, it is forecast to get down to four or five degrees overnight. Seat of Summit Aeros Premium Pillow. And oh, look at this. The Sea to Summit Etherlite XT Extreme is back. Now, once again, I am not sponsored by Sea to Summit. I just really like the stuff. Two and a half years since I bought the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT Extreme, and it failed, and it failed in one of the dimples. I sent it away to the Mountain Boot Company, which is the UK representative. They agreed that it had failed rather than have been punctured by myself. So they sent me a brand new one. Happy days. So when Sea to Summit say they offer a lifetime guarantee, they really mean it and you can buy with confidence. So now I'm set up, it's time to start enjoying camp. I'm gonna get my chair set up and I'm gonna have a zero and I'm gonna have my tea and just generally chill out for the night. I do have a few items to show you. If you remember earlier this year, I got a wallet and tracker card from Exta and honestly I've been using it ever since and especially on the fells it really does give me peace of mind that if I do lose my wallet I have a really 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 good chance of finding it again using the tracker card and the app. And they sent me another couple of wallets and the new version of the tracker card so once I've had a beer and chilled out a little bit I'm going to run through with them and I do have a discount code for you once again but we'll talk about that shortly. So for now, camera is going down and it is non-alcoholic beer o'clock. I've just got the time lapse on the go. Look at this sunset, man. Absolutely stunning. Cracking little pitch for the night. Still very, very cloudy and hazy over the back. And that wind has picked up quite a bit. Consequently, it's cooled down, my hands are freezing. And once the time lapse is done, I'm gonna get myself inside the tent and get myself some tea on, I think. Well, as I mentioned before, it's getting cold outside with the sun going down, that wind picking up. So I've got myself in my tent. Got the real termite pasta bolognese on with rehydrated, so I'm really looking forward to that, getting some warm food inside me. So while that's rehydrating, I'm going to show you the wallets that Extra have sent me. So this is the original leather parliament wallet that Extra sent me quite a few months ago now. What I will do is I'll put a link in the description to my original video to show you how this works. But as you can see, it's got all my gear in. I've been using it ever since they sent me it. You've got a strap to keep your notes in. You put some more notes inside there, some more cards. You've got the plastic button there. When you press that, your cards shoot up. You can access them easily, pop them back in, and you don't lose them. The tracker card, which is solar powered, slides in the outside, and you can ring your wallet from your phone or vice versa if you lose your phone you can double tap the button and it'll ring your phone honestly this has given me so much peace of mind not just when i've been out and about in towns and cities but more importantly when i'm out on the fells as i mentioned earlier in the video it gives me peace of mind i know if i lose my wallet in the fells i stand a really good chance of finding it so they have sent me two wallets and it's the new aluminium version, which are slightly different. So I'll run through them both and I will compare them next to the original one. So you can see, ever so slightly smaller, but quite a bit thinner. 
Now I've got all my cards in my original wallet there. These are made out of recycled aluminium, so there's no plastic parts whatsoever. You've got the clip there for your notes. You press the button on the side again and your cards pop out. It's got an add-on ecosystem so you can get more cards and notes in this little back section here. I think it's ever so slightly lighter but it's certainly a lot slimmer and more robust. The other one they've sent me is pretty much exactly the same. I will hold it up. You can see this one is slightly thicker than the first one that they sent me because it holds slightly more cards. This one holds up to 14 cards. Once again, recycled aluminium with the metal button. You press it and your cards pop up. We've also got the added ecosystem on this one as well for cards and your money as well as going in this slot on the side. So these new recycled aluminium wallets, they come in five colours, black, grey, blue, green and red. So you've got plenty of options there to choose different colours. The new ergonomic shape means it fits better in your hands and that button does feel a lot better than the original model that they sent me and they also come with a lifetime warranty and this is the new tracker card that they've sent me which is apple find my you can see just how skinny that is that is absolutely credit card thin as i've mentioned this one isn't solar powered it's rechargeable so you've got your little magnet charger there and that just clips on like so. One charge will give you six months use. Now this one is slightly different to the one that I'm using on this wallet here. It doesn't need the Chipolo app. Once again, you've got the same ring features as the one that I'm using. However, on the map, you can see its exact location should you lose your wallet. It's water resistant, and it will also send you notifications when your wallet goes out of the zone on your phone. Like I say, I'm on Android and this is for Apple. So I've no way of showing you exactly how this works. However, it's got to be better than the one that I'm using at the moment. Unfortunately, I've got no use for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give one of these wallets away with this tracker card. And other than me opening these to show you, they are brand new. If you're on Apple and you fancy yourself a nice new wallet from Exeter and a tracker card to give you peace of mind should you lose your wallet, then please comment, I'm in, in the comments. Now unfortunately, due to postage costs, this is only open to UK residents, but I will post at my expense to anywhere in the UK a nice new wallet and a tracker card from Exeter. And once again, I've been using the original Parliament wallet that they've sent me for a good few months now and it just gives me peace of mind. So once again, if you want to win these, comment I'm in in the comments and I'll give it a month and then I will do a random draw, a completely random draw and pick a winner. Now Exeter are having a summer sale which is 20% off but if you use the code on the screen here at Cumbrian Lad that will give you up to 30% off items on the website. So like I say, if you are interested, please go and check them out. Don't forget to use the code of Cumbrian Lad for a little bit of discount. Right, it's time for some tea. Oh, definitely ready for this. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> we're back to hand warming season as well. Oh, lovely. Right, usual drill. I'm going to go and finish my food off, enjoy that. Get myself orientated inside my tent. Probably chat with a few mates on what's happened. Get a bit of editing done as well, but I will bring you back before it's bedtime. Well, it's about half past nine. I've uh, been chatting with a few mates, like I said I would do, on the old WhatsApp. And I've started a bit of editing, but I'm tired. It's been a long week. And like I say, with the hormone problems that I'm having, uh, knackered. So I'm going to get my head down, enjoy the photos and drone footage that I've got for you overnight. And we'll see you in the morning. I dare you to fix me I'm crossing the line again Falling on my knee No stranger to pain It's never ending It's only I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you keep on forgiving Admit that I'm afraid If I let go of this pain Am I completely betrayed? There's no air left to breathe I'm drowning Vultures are circling me Around it I need to fight, I know It's just so hard to let it go Shine a light, I can see Can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you Keep on forgiving Admit that I'm afraid If I let go of this rage Am I Complicitly betrayed Something I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you Keep on forgiving Oh, oh, oh. Admit that I'm afraid If I let go of this rage Am I Complicitly betrayed My heart my love, my life, the prize, it's hard to fight, to fight. Well, good morning everyone. It's currently 25 to 5 and what a cracking night's sleep. I wasn't too late to bed. I think I woke up once about half three for a wee, but straight out again and literally only just woke up. Boy, am I glad to have my seat of summit back. This mat is just so comfortable and warm, man. Honestly, unbelievable. I'm a happy man, it's back. But I am hungry, so it is most definitely time to get some breakfast on. The wind had died down overnight, 
think that's why I slept so well, but it is just starting to buffer around a little bit now. And it is quite cold on hands, even inside the tent. Mm. Oh, coffee. Coffee is my friend. The tent is quite wet with uh, condensation as well. Look at that. There <laughs> must have been some heavy breathing going on in here last night. <sighs> Brecky time. Oh. Right, I'm going to finish my breakfast and my coffee um, and then it's going to be time to start packing up and get down the hill. As always, I've got to get home. I've got stuff on. I need to go and see my dad and then some jobs at home. So it's got to that time of year where I'm, uh, I'm walking down the fells in the dark, but that's not a problem, especially today a short one but i'll bring you guys back to uh, sign the video off properly well that is me all packed up and ready to go after a very enjoyable camp following a busy week at work just exactly what i needed just by the trig point you can't see much but it's a misty early morning just the very start of sunrise you can see there that's my rucksack ready to go with the rubbish bag beside it that's the area there where I had my tent. So as always, and as it should be, I'll be leaving no trace. Thank you guys very much for joining me in this one, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love, from a Cumbrian lad 